Idaho has some of the most beautiful and pristine lakes and rivers in America. Lake Pondere, Priest Lake, Henry's Lake, and Bear Lake are some of our crown jewels. The Snake River is Idaho's working river with its dams providing electricity for much of southern Idaho. And the Salmon River system is world renowned for its whitewater and fishing. Many other pristine streams in Idaho, like Silver Creek and the Henry's Fork, draw anglers from throughout the world. Today, there's a new threat to our high quality waters. Quagga and zebra mussels, non-native invasive species from Russia that once established proliferate by the millions. The main species that we're concerned about at this time is the quagga mussel and zebra mussel. They're the ones that have certainly gotten our attention and policymakers' attention because of the damage that they can do and the damage that they've done in other parts of the United States. Zebra mussels and quagga mussels initially infiltrated the Great Lakes region in the 1990s, causing more than $5 billion in damage. Once established, the mussels populate rapidly, clinging to hard surfaces such as boat motors and hulls, clogging water intake pipes, plugging hydropower systems, and destroying native fisheries. Once the mussels invade lakes, rivers, or reservoirs, they are impossible to control. One female lays one million eggs at a time. Just two years after quagga mussels infiltrated Lake Mead, they now number three trillion, and they spread further. Boaters from Lake Mead unwittingly spread quagga mussels to parts of California, Colorado, and Utah. Representative Eric Anderson, an Idaho legislator from Priest Lake, took notice. He knew that if one boat from Lake Mead carried quagga mussels into Idaho, it would be a disaster. All our fears came to fruition. Um, we knew that we were, we were going to have to do something quickly. We convinced the legislature of that, and we were able to pass that law. In March 2009, the Idaho legislature called on the Idaho State Department of Agriculture to set up boat inspection stations on Idaho's borders to prevent the mussels from spreading into their waters. Experts estimate that if the mussels do invade Idaho, it would cost taxpayers up to $100 million annually to deal with clogged irrigation pipes, fouled hydroelectric facilities, damage to boats, and more. We've only got one chance to keep them out because any boat that comes in with quaggas on them will contaminate that water body. And uh, quaggas are a small, small mussel. They're hard to see. And so that's why we've implemented the, the inspection and decontamination process. Boat inspection and decontamination stations are Idaho's front line of defense. We uh, have upped it to 20 sites, and they are the most traveled thoroughfares that come into the state of Idaho. The program is very successful. Uh, we've uh, stopped six boats so far that actually did have quagga mussels on. We have developed a beginnings of a regional plan to now be able to have inspection sites that could be coordinated at different border ports of entry going through from one state to another. And I think that's vital because we only have a certain pool of resources uh, to work from. The Department of Agriculture held a number of training seminars to show inspectors what to look for. You want to make sure you physically inspect anything that comes into contact with water, either by feeling it with your hands or visually inspecting it. The adult mussels you'll be able to see and feel, as well as the baby mussels. They will have a feeling of sandpaper almost and that's the best way to detect baby mussels because they are very small and sometimes very hard to see. On the 4th of July weekend, a steady stream of boats rolled into Idaho's boat inspection stations. But you gotta realize if you catch one boat coming in that's got these things on it and you prevent them from going into your water system, you're literally saving hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars. Idaho's boat inspection program is funded by a sticker program for in-state and out-of-state boaters. Inflatable crafts that are less than 10 feet long are exempt. Discount rates are available for licensed commercial outfitters. The sticker program is expected to raise approximately $1.8 million a year for fighting invasive species. All of us have a stake in preventing the infestation of our waters. No one understands this more 
than the boaters who recreate on Idaho's streams, lakes, and reservoirs. Well, I'd like to say thank you because I really hope that we're able to be proactive and do something with this. But if we can pull together and keep them out of Idaho, then that's what this is about. So this is needed. Idaho invasive species officials and legislators have been meeting with Idaho boating groups to make sure they understand the purpose of the program. This is why these meetings are so vital. Once they understand what the issue is and people want to go out and participate, so they, uh, once they understand the need, uh, they're, they're not afraid to, to spend the five or ten dollars. To help educate Idaho and out-of-state residents about what they can do, the Idaho State Department of Agriculture has been working on a public outreach program with advertising on outdoor billboards, radio advertising, and public outreach to spread the message that people should keep their boats quagga free. The message is to clean, drain, and dry your boat before entering Idaho's waters. That is the solution. This is a cause that, that affects everyone. I, I know that there are those folks out there that say, why should I have my boat inspected? But, but we're just trying to stop this, the quaggas from coming into the state and, and ensuring that what we've got in Idaho stays just as pristine as it is right now. And uh, so in that sense, I would hope that we would have everyone's su support. Even back in the Great Lakes region, Michigan, and some of those, those states back there where they've had this problem since the late 80s, there are counties that took the initiative to require inspections and decontamination. Those counties are still, their waterways are still free of mussels. So in a, in a larger scale, if we work together as a state, each state works together with one another, we regionalize this thing, I believe that we can be successful. Ooh, there's a nice one. For more information, contact the Idaho State Department of Agriculture at www.invasivespecies.idaho.gov or phone 887-336-8676 or visit www.100thmeridian.org.